everybody and welcome uh, to the Mark David Kitchen Showroom in Sorbetsworth. Um, today I'm going to be giving you a guided tour uh, showcasing the types of kitchens that we can offer. And we're going to start uh, straight away with the window display here. Now this is in a very popular design at the moment, the handles design, which is very streamlined, uh, obviously no handles, very stylish and has horizontal clean lines, very popular. It's also in a high gloss lacquer and it will be, though these colours are blue and a grey, they are actually special colours, what we call rail colours, which means that you have a choice, apart from our standard colours, you also have a choice for um, any of these sort of shades as well. So it really can make it your signature, 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 you know, signature kitchen. It's also all connected up to water and also to the electrics, so it gives us a full working kitchen, um, which then gives us the uh, chance to actually showcase and do um, demonstrations for our customers but also we utilise it for doing cookery lessons and um, different things like that and actually have a cookery, uh, somebody from the appliance people come in and do cooking demos. So for example, uh, we have a working induction hob which we can demonstrate how they work, very popular at the moment, probably 9 out of 10 kitchens that we fit has an induction hob now. Uh, we've got the sink all uh, watered up as well and even the dishwasher, uh, which has got a really nice um, innovation that you can push and this opens now. It's particularly good with the handless range as well. Also, this is good to demonstrate particularly how noisy dishwashers are. Now, when you tell people it's got a very low decibel level, there's nothing like actually showing them uh, exactly you know, what the sound is. It's very quiet. Uh, we've also got our ovens, both uh, electrified up, and then we have the fridge and a freezer concealed underneath here as well. So this is a complete working kitchen. We also have some really nice innovations inside the units. For example, uh, in a corner unit, obviously most people are used to just a straightforward shelf going into the corner. What we've got nowadays are things to help us so that we don't have to have you know, the actual goods come out to us rather than us sitting on the floor <laughs> and having lots of stuff in our lap. So this, for example, is what we call a Le Monde unit. And this shelf, because it's actually shaped like the race, the race track, thus the Le Monde, and this will take up to 30 kilos. And this brings out right from the back out of the unit itself. And you've had two shelves of those in that particular unit. The other thing that's popular now is the wider drawer packs. Really popular now. The thing with wider drawer packs is you really must have uh, quality runners to take the weight. Because these will take up to 40 kilos of drawer, um, and nowadays we pull them out 100%. This particular unit, it's a special unit, it's actually 750D. So when we pull out the drawers here, you can see you're coming out even further. So when, you, when you're putting the weight in, these runners, which are made by Bloom, got to be the right quality to take the weight. Another nice feature uh, in kitchens at the moment is lighting, very important. Um, and with islands, as you can see here, we've actually put LED lights around the top of the handles, or not the handles, the actual handle rail, uh, to illuminate that. Makes a really nice feature in, in the, on the island. And also we run a plinth light underneath as well. Well, it just finishes it off really nicely. Also, while we're on this display, we have two of the you know, most popular ways of doing solid worktops. Uh, we have Corian, which is a product that's uh, developed by ICI about 60 years ago. So it's really shown the, the test of time. And the beauty of this is it can be moulded into shape. Um, for example, come closer over here. We actually have a kitchen, uh, an actual worktop joint here, but as you can see, it's it's invisible and you can't feel anything. So sand it down, and it actually becomes one. 
Also, they're very famous for doing their sinks, which are actually part of the worktop. So everything sweeps into that nicely. I do some nice detail, like a drip edge for the front here. You can't really see it so much in the white, but it's actually like a little raised edge there. Nice features. Um, again, jointless. When you want to do some coved up stand or a backboard. Um, yeah, this is the product to have if you want that sort of detail. Also, just pointing out on this one, we've also got a quartz top here, which obviously is a solid top. Um, we couldn't do what we could do with the Corian sink, but this is the new 1810 sink, the access sink, which enables you to clad the actual sink with the same worktop finish. So it gives you that really nice feature. Okay, we're moving on, we're going to our uh, newer display is this one over here, which is really our more classic and traditional type of kitchen. Uh, basically we have a, a shaker style door here, it's not a true shaker, it's got a slight beading on it, um, but we do do uh, obviously a true shaker as well. Um, but this is obviously in a painted finish, this is in like a dusty pink. Uh, and then we can also carry through in the interior uh, the same colour inside and outside carpets. Uh, and this particular one is in the uh, navigational oak, which is more like a sort of medium, medium oak finish. But as you can see, you get a beautiful finish on the inside as well. So that's, that's the sort of, the sort of what we call a lay-on door. Um, just while we're here, I'll just point out this is also another nice feature. When you have sometimes a smaller kitchen, um, it's nice to get your sink in the corner. It enables you to get a little bit more to the left and right for your dishwashers and everything else. And this is a nice undermounted one, big sink, it's utilising the full space there. If you want to get more traditional, then we can show you here. This is what we call an in-frame kitchen which means that all the doors and the drawers are all in frame. Um, it gives it a much more traditional look. This particular one, being the flat door, is more of a sort of classic traditional. Um, but you could have here some uh, butt hinges or finial hinges to make it look really old. Uh, but this particular one, and, and the demand on the sort of more modern frame kitchen, is you have concealed hinges. But again here, we've, we've changed the carcass colour here, we've got more of a, a light oak finish. Again, inside and outside in the light oak. Okay, so, we move on into the middle of the showroom. Again, uh, we've got another hangerless kitchen here. But what we've tried to show with this particular one uh, is there's a lot of a lot of people nowadays are actually having two, sort of two colours in the kitchen, particularly where they've got an island um, and another set of units or maybe an L shape. They might go for a different shade just to make it look a little bit different. If you haven't got an island, maybe you do the wall units in one colour and then you do the base units in another. It makes it more of a signature, signature kitchen for you. Uh, this particular one, um, Instead of just doing this in all in a white finish, this is in a, a white matte lacquer. Uh, instead of just doing it all for that, we, we decided to make it a little bit different and go for the anthracite black carpet, which we've done inside and out. And also the accessories like the actual handle rail on the back and the plinth. Um, the same with the centre island piece. It's obviously a different colour, it's more like a metallic pewter finish. Again with the black, but it makes it look completely different. Now, if you had everything like this in a white uh, carpet, white print, and everything else, it looked nice. But this really defines it, and we've got so many different colours that we can make this the rail and everything. You know, you could have a blue one, whatever. But this one, just showing and demonstrating the anthracite black. In this 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 display, you also show one of our most popular units, the flat lava. This is only in like a 300 wide, or you know, some of your older people, 12 inches, 
um, wide, uh, and because it's a pullout, you've got access to both sides, and it's also very heavy duty, so you can stash all sorts of things like tins, everything in there, and it's very, very accessible. Also, soft clothes when it goes back, so even though it's a heavy unit, it goes back nicely. Okay, so I'll just show you our black glass. Um, again, we've got this with a walnut colour, which gives it a little bit of warmth. Uh, this handle Handle that we show here um, can't see this one. Uh, is like a very minimalistic handle that goes along the top. And um, you know, if, you, if you're not into the whole rail system, this one actually looks nice and slick, as you can see from here. You know, the actual handle is actually cut onto the top. When it goes back, it just leaves a very sort of minor line along the top. It looks very minimalistic, but it hasn't got to be with the rail there. You can actually have sort of a normal drawer, but with that really nice handle. In the background here, you can see a, a big TV and a computer screen. This is where we would present and show you your new kitchen design in a fabulous colour perspective. Uh, give you a real um, sort of insight of what your dream kitchen is going to look like. Or if you want to make some changes or change the colour, we can do that within sort of a few minutes. So a really important part of our business that side. And just to finish off the showroom, um, we also have what I would call the normal sort of galley kitchen, um, which is you know, basically the two sides. And then uh, this is just in a high gloss white lacquer. Again, still German quality, uh, but just showing you we can do sort of normal kitchens as well. Um, and these have got, this has got all the accessories that you need. You've got your dishwasher, you've got your um, fridge freezer, oven, gas hob hood. You now something like this is, uh, is, is sort of uh, standard sort of layouts, particularly for some of the, the, the uh, apartments that you know, we supply to contractors. So it gives them a good idea of what we can do, um, and that's all for a, you know a reasonable budget. You know something like this, with all the appliances in as well, would be around about the five thousand mark. So very good value for money for a German kitchen. So that's really the tour of the showroom over. Just come down to the front, have a little bit of way through it. So, obviously the showroom at the moment is temporarily shut, um, but we are still very much open. Uh, myself and my colleague Lee um, are still available for doing design and giving any sort of advice that people uh, need for looking at kitchens for when they go back. Um, all we need from, from you really is, um, you, know, you need to maybe measure your own kitchen, we need to know where the walls doors and uh, windows come. Um, just a basic sort of uh, sketch would be fine. Um, if, you can't, if, you, if you're not confident of doing that, then we can actually, you know, I'm going to do a small video showing you what we need, uh, you know, what, what to measure. Um, then what we would like to do then would be able to get together with you, mate, preferably on a sort of video call, um, and then we can discuss and look at your kitchen through your phone. Um, if you're not comfortable with that, we're quite happy to just ring you, have a chat about what you want, or we can just uh, email you, so it's not a problem. Alternatively, you may have had a, a situation where you're just about to, to sort of look at kitchens, you've had an extension built, or maybe you're just, just about to get your planning through, you will have architect plans. Now these are ideal for us, send them through, um, they're on a 1 to 50 scale, but we can actually uh, convert that to you know, a pretty good idea of the size of the room and then we can start talking to you about you know your kitchen uh, well in advance and get a lot of these decisions now you know done before we actually get down to you know looking in the showroom so you know by all means uh, just send it through to our, our, uh, my
my email address, which I'll give you shortly. We also have a, a brand new um, website, uh, markdavid.co.uk, which you can also have a look on, um, and you can contact us directly from that. Just send, send a, you know, a photo of your, your plan through to us, or your architect plans, and we can then have a conversation and have a chat with you and, uh, and get the kitchen designed. So thank you for your uh, for, for tuning in today and having a look around the showroom. I hope you're impressed by what you saw. Um, if you need to contact us, you can uh, send me an email on mark with a K um, at markdavid.co.uk or you can contact me on my mobile 07956 551 418. Thanks again for your time and uh, please stay safe out. Thank you.